Hi guys, it looks a little foggy. Maybe I'll... Uh, uh, just going for a walk. The fire was hot, so I just want to get away from the fire for a bit. It's too, too thick here, I don't know. Going down towards the lake. I just want to see if this little area is still flooded. Some good firewood there. I'll remember that. Definitely not as flooded as it was. I might be able to make it down here. Let's see here. Let through here. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, it's not flooded here like it was last weekend. So that's cool. I'm right here at the lake, almost here now. There we go. You can see, I don't want to get too close and slip in there. There's open water all along the shore. There's open water from all the rain. Ah, oh, there's the lake. There's like a little point that comes out there there's like a little cove in there you can go in there and there's a couple of campsites over there I've been there with my boat now we've gone in the middle here there's this little section of the lake I've just I've never been out here I uh with my boat. I've always been on the other side. A little patch of open water out there, you can see. There's a whole cove. Just down there. I haven't uh, spent a lot of time on this part of the lake. And I've been a lot of hours at this lake but I haven't spent a whole lot of time in this little cove. Uh, I hear the fishing is actually pretty good here so that's how close we are to the uh, to the water. You see it's open there. That'll all be open soon. We have to come out with the boat. Even if the lake was open today, today would have been uh, very challenging even with my little boat because I do, uh, I run a little inflatable raft, even with the trolling motor. I got six, seven hundred pounds on that boat sometimes and I got a little 32 pound thrust trolling motor. It's just not enough. This wind takes right over. So We've had uh, an incident like that before, Peter and I, where the wind just threw us completely on one side of the lake. And we kind of had to wait a little bit for the wind to die down and then just kind of go for it. Not sure how I got in here. Maybe over here. It looks a little easier. Anyways, so that's the lake. So what we're going to end up doing probably is building, clearing some of that out in the spring here, later on in the spring. And so we have a place to uh, dock our boat because this would be the easiest way come here and have a path through here and look at the water eh? it's all flooded ground's not quite thawed out yet so a lot of the water is sitting on top of the frozen ground Some firewood, anyways. Nice. Might even collect some wood here while I'm here. There's some decent wood here. A couple.
like uh, crack some wood while I'm out here. I definitely didn't come in this way, so yeah, I see the camps over there. So. This is not the way to go out. going up this way. Looks a little bit easier. There's the big leaning tree, so we'll go up this way. Yeah, this is how I came in here. Alright. Our big leaning tree. There's camp. All right, so you see we're not that far away from the water. We'll be able to dock on that side of the peninsula. If we dock on the other side, it's a few hundred meters at least, probably half a kilometer or so. Oh, it looks like Peter got the stakes on. I'll grab some more wood there. Look at that. Oh, man. Does that ever look good? Oh. Oh yeah, look at that. Couple stakes. Nice. Peter the cook, he's cooking. Got some potatoes there, roasting. He's over there flipping them up. Fire is roaring. Man, oh man, there's a lot of heat. Oh man. Okay guys, well it looks like lunch is almost ready, so... Guess I'll let Peter get lunch together here. I'm pretty pumped. Chicken wings earlier were awesome, so... Looking forward to some steak and... Some baked potatoes there. Maybe we'll uh, we'll do a video for that. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, we'll see you in a bit. We'll be back.